Doug, great to see you. Good to see you, Joe. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, I appreciate you joining us. When it comes to the cloud, what exactly are the opportunities for VMware's partners right now? So Joe, we really see uh, virtualization as the cornerstone of the cloud, right? You can't get to the cloud without virtualization. So really getting the partners going on baseline virtualization and understand how that works and getting that deployed and, and uh, showing how to build services about around it, we think that's step one to getting uh, cloud going with your uh, clients. Okay. All right. Now, when you're talking about cloud, are these partners profiting today? And if so, is it public cloud or private cloud, or is it both? Yeah, so, you know, I definitely see a little of both. In the enterprise space today, it's really more the private cloud. So how do you virtualize uh, the data center? That will eventually lead into some apps being moved to the private cloud. Mm -hmm. In the SMB space, there is a little bit of SMB of people just moving immediately uh, to the public cloud because SMBs don't necessarily have as, as hefty IT needs and they can move, once you've made the decision to move to the cloud, it's a lot easier for the SMB. Okay. All right. And let's talk a little bit more about the private cloud and these first steps with virtualization. I want you to clarify for me, is virtualization private cloud or is it a stepping stone to private cloud? Do you need to do something beyond that? Yeah. So I think virtualization is the first step to the private cloud and really separating out your IT, your hardware infrastructure from your IT compute needs and, and, and really layering that out. I think that it really is the first step. Mm -hmm. So virtualization, that baseline virtualization that we see around file and print is kind of how people get going. But when they start virtualizing uh, tier one and tier two apps, I think is when you see people really starting to look at moving into the private cloud and looking at IT as a service. And are there additional VMware tools for the cloud, or is it the base virtualization platform that we're talking about? Yeah, great question. Uh, great question, Joe. So uh, a lot of what you see is now the management tools really start coming into, into play. So, uh, you know, wh uh, what are we doing with vSphere? Mm -hmm. And it starts playing, uh, I'm sorry, with vS uh, 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 Virtual Center. And then also uh, starts coming into play a lot more around uh, the new things that we have, for instance, the Spring Source development tools. So how do you build applications that are cloud ready? And I think you're also going to see the move of uh, now of how do you virtualize or actually how do you make that end user computing experience more liquid? I just use look at myself as myself as a, as a great example of that. Today I'm using a Mac, actually two Macs, an iPad and an iPhone, and I can basically uh, get access to my data from any of these devices. And that's ultimately where a lot of that leads is the end user computing experience to uh, being cloud aware. All right. Well, we'll be looking for those uh, for those milestones. Thanks for your time today, Doug. Appreciate it. Awesome. Good to see you, Joe. Thanks.